Hello, this is Larry Cross One, and hopefully tomorrow the podcast will be going up. I was thinking, you know what really bugs me? Like, something I just like can't get behind or even see the ideals of. Well, to put it simply, religious nutters. Like, I'm not, like, it's fun if you, like, have a religion and you found peace and you enjoy it and you follow it, but people who just go so far into following this that it almost turns into a cult. Like, they follow it cult-like, with cult-like followership. It just really bugs me because it's like, there are other things besides this you do realize. I mean, you could, you could do this. You won't explode and blood shoot out of your eyes if you don't... If you break this rule in this religion. I mean, it's not like... Like, I can understand, like, restrictiveness in religions, like, uh, Ju -ish, Judaism and pork. I mean, and like, Hinduism and beef or whatever. I mean, that's fine. But just, like, completely shutting yourself out from most things that, like, are just, like, they could be so small and insignificant or, like, huge, massive things. Like, um, oh, what's the one? Um, it's, uh, abstinence. Like, practicing abstinence. I mean, it's like, okay, I f fun if you get it. I get it. But if you're, like, pushing it out to make other people forcefully, almost, making them practice abstinence. I mean, this is like one of the biggest, most important things to the human life. It literally creates life not following it. And just like restricting yourself to what we've, what we're basically supposed to do. I mean, our bodies are, like, almost designed to do this, and you practice not doing it? And even almost make people not do it? It almost, it, like, that almost scares me. So, this is, that's another thing. Like, there's other things, like, um, well, just, like, following things that a sane mind could not believe. Like, um, that... Everything was created by someone throwing up, and that caused the sun to glow. Like, things with no logic behind them, no, like, even realism whatsoever. That just bugs me. It's like, how does that make sense in your brain? Do you believe you even have a brain? Because there are some religions, well, I wouldn't call them a religion, it's more like cults that believe you don't have brains, I assume. I wouldn't be surprised if there was one. Just like people who believe they're like hollow even though we can visually show them. And another thing, when there's vast amounts of proof, like huge, like proof at every corner about this, I don't see how you can choose to believe what has not been proven over what has been proven against it. Like, if you believe that, well, here's one, that the Earth is at the center of the galaxy or universe. Dear God, what is wrong with you? I mean, seriously. There is, like, there's, like, ma like, I would sh extend off screen, but you can't see how much I'm showing. And I'm not exaggerating, there's, like, massive amounts of research papers and I don't know, essays and tons of proof that this is real. It's real. It's not fake. It's not made up. It's not just written down. It, you can see it for yourself. If you just ask the right people, you can literally see. They can explain it to you in detail. Like, massive amounts of detail. But still... How can you, like, how could people still follow believing this crap? Using Earth as at the center of the universe as an example. Another thing, that the Earth's not rotating. That bugs the crap out of me. How? 
I mean, just, just, okay, okay. If your argument for this is that when you jump, you don't go, f like, the earth doesn't move below your feet. Momentum, bitch! I mean, if you're on a train, just like a, you're in a caboose, and you stand up, and you jump, you're not gonna go flying and smack the wall! That's not going to happen! You are going to jump and land from where you jumped because of momentum. I mean, maybe you might move a little, but that's because you jumped like that. I mean, if this train is going, I don't know, let's say, 80 kilometers per hour, that's about, I don't know, 40, 45 miles per hour? I don't know. So you're in a train going that fast. If you believe the Earth's not rotating, this is basically what you believe. That when you jump, your the train is going to come at 80 kilometers per hour and smack you and kill you and turn you into a, well not mist because people get run over all the time at that speed well, not all the time hopefully but you would just like crumple against the back so I mean just, uh, what what pet peeves do you have about religion tell say someone tell somebody I don't know I'll probably Tell me in the comments, I'll probably read them. What pet peeves do you have about religion? Um, ooh, I'm running out of space on my thing, so I'm gonna end it here. This has been Nightcrush One with the teleporting door. Zyang. Goodbye. Nope, this way.